This is from Arena's video review of the Sony Ericsson 3 megapixel phone, the K800. After the success of the Walkman series, Sony is trying to use another of its popular brand names, the Cybershot, as a selling point for its top of the line camera phones. The successor of K750 has 3 megapixel camera instead of 2, new xenon flash that replaces the old LED lightning, additional VGA camera on the front used for video calling, and QVGA display with actual size of 2 inches. Its pixels are small and the produced images are detailed with saturated colors, but it's not as bright as the one on the N73 phone. Below it is the awful keypad lit in purple color. The reason we say it's awful is because we could hardly feel the different keys and pressing them it's hard because of the small size and ridiculous tactile response. The joystick in the middle is big enough, but its edges cut your finger when pressed. Overall, the construction of the phone is very solid and there are no cracking noises when we squeeze it. Opening the slider on the back starts the camera interface for just 3 seconds. The left soft key opens the settings list that consists of black and white icons. Using the keys above the display, you can easily change the scenes or the shooting mode. Pressing the shutter key initializes the focusing procedure, and holding it down takes a picture. During our testing, we found the image quality to be one of the best for a mobile phone nowadays. In a direct comp comparison between 5-3 megapixel phones, the K800 shared the first place with Samsung D900 thanks to the bright flash which makes its indoor images the best among 3 megapixel camera phones nowadays. The phone book is similar to the previous models and you can save multiple numbers and emails to a contact. The main menu is a grid of 12 icons but unfortunately moving to it is somewhat slow. The music player is similar to the one of the Walkman phone and can sort the music in playlists or by artist. The sound produced by the speaker is loud and fine for ringtones, but listening to music is not a great experience if you can't change the headphones with standard ones that produce better sound. The support for stereo Bluetooth audio makes up for it, so you can use some wireless stereo Bluetooth headphones to listen to your favorite music. During a call, the voices sounded realistic, but the volume was average and not as loud as the Nokia phones we've tested. The signal strength was better though, and the phone performed better than both N73 and N80 phones. The main pros of the phone are its camera, display and audio options, while its main drawbacks are the awful keypad, the bulky size and the small reaction in the menus.